Louisiana's Republican lawmakers blocked an emergency voting plan that called for expanding mail-in voting and early voting, among other things, to address election concerns about the coronavirus outbreak. Paul Murphy reports on what's next for the plan drawn up by Secretary of State Kyle Ardon. Louisiana Secretary of State Kyle Ardoin told members of the Senate and Governmental Affairs Committee his emergency election plan is appropriate for the unprecedented circumstances we face with COVID-19. This is not how I want to hold Understand. elections. Understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to figure out a way to balance the concerns of citizens and the phone calls that we get uh, from average citizens that are, are worried about them contracting this horrible virus that could lead to death. The proposal would expand the list of voters who can request a mail-in ballot for the July and August elections. The list would include people who are 60 years or older, have underlying medical conditions, those experiencing COVID symptoms, and people ordered to stay at home or self-quarantine. The proposal would also expand early voting from seven to 13 days. This decision was done without the political ramifications in mind. The only thing on my mind has been the safety of Louisiana and the integrity of our elections. But the committee blocked the plan along party lines. Four Republicans voted to defer the measure, alone Democrat voted against deferral. I'm really worried about the risk inherent for your office, for our voting, for, for the sanctity of our elections. New Orleans State Representative Mandy Landry testified in favor of the emergency plan. She's sponsoring a separate bill that would expand vote by mail to any voter who requests it. People have the constitutional right to vote, but they also have to have the right to be safe when they vote. And if we have a solution, which is voting by mail, I think we have a duty to implement it and not force people to go out. Ardoin, a Republican, is now expected to come back to the committee with an amended plan. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.